Some people are born athletes. Other people are born mathletes. And me, well, I've been failing gym since the second grade, so I always thought it would make sense to stick to something simpler, like software engineering. And this basically describes my lifelong relationship with sports until a couple of months ago, when I learned that my friend Zach Akil, who's both a software engineer but also a competitive rugby player, was working on a project to analyze soccer kicks using machine learning. So in this episode of Making with Machine Learning, we'll talk to Zach to see how he did it, and then I'll try to adapt his technique to my tennis serve. Stick around to see how I did it and how you can do it with your own data. So I wanted to talk to you because I heard that you built a really cool demo at London Next this year using machine learning to analyze how people were able to kick a soccer ball for a penalty shot. Did I get that right? Uh, yeah, everything except for the soccer bit. Uh, it was actually a football demo. Football? It didn't look that way to me from the video. No, it was football. We call it football over here. Yeah. So Zach, why did you decide to build this demo? Well, we have a partnership with the Football Association and we were just sort of spitballing ideas as to what would be a really cool way of, of highlighting both the sport and some really cool things you can do with machine learning. So what exactly were you doing with that demo? I wish I could have been there. Yeah, uh, so we were using three different cameras to track people's accuracy, power, and the very style of their kick. They go onto the pitch, we line up the ball, we give them the instructions, three kicks, and they all get recorded. I was there with a whistle. <laughs> the people who were organizing it didn't know I was gonna bring a whistle, but I brought it anyway. I would blow the whistle, they would kick the ball, they would try to hit one of two targets in the top left and top right corners. After three kicks, they would see on a live dashboard the results of the power, the accuracy, and the style of each one of their kicks. After that, they would get their own player profile cards. So tell me about how you took all of this machine learning technology and you put it into an actual phone app. Oh, so that's 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 a good question because uh, we did have uh, three mobile phones recording from different angles. We have one camera placed down on the ground. Its only job is to track the ball on its way to the goal from, from the side. And by tracking the ball from this angle, we can easily see the speed of the ball. And then the next camera we have is positioned above head height and behind the kicker looking directly at the goal. And this camera tracks where the targets are on the goal. And then the last camera, that's positioned kind of at a 45 degree angle facing the kicker. And this is purely for the video intelligence API to run its pose estimation on the API will pick out the coolest shot. And then that frame is used on the player profile card. For tracking the ball speed, we did some high school mathematics where it was the difference in space over time to work out the speed of the ball. And then to work out accuracy, because we also had bounding boxes for the targets within the goal returned, we just did like a Euclidean distance to the nearest target. So that was accuracy and speed pretty easy. And then the last one was style. I mean, I mean, how can you measure style really? So we had to just come up with our own metric of what was the most stylish kick. So what went into it? Like what was the technology stack that powered your demo? For the kind of really cool stuff, the machine learning, we used uh, AutoML to build the tracking models of the ball and the targets in the goal. And to analyze the posture of the player, we were actually using a feature that's soon to be released called Pose Estimation. The feature that Zach's talking about here is actually called Person Detection, and it's now available through the Video Intelligence API. When you give it a video and there's people in the video, it will estimate sort of the skeleton and where it is and where each joint is. What are all of the different machine learning problems that you faced as you were building this? The first challenge that we knew we wanted to solve was just tracking the ball. We figured, okay, a football is a pretty generic object. Maybe there's a pre-trained model that we can utilize. And what we found was when you take a picture or a frame from a video of a kick, the ball is too blurry to then be picked up by a, a generic pre-trained model. And that was the, the first challenge was, okay, we had to train our own uh, vision model to detect a blurry football. So I built two AutoML models. Here's the first one, which is the tracking of the accuracy. And you can see 
here, if I click on an image, you can see where we've labeled the images. Using the tool, we draw boxes around things. So if I want to draw a box around that, we draw a box around it and told it what we wanted it to track. Okay, so you have two targets that are on the goalpost and the ball annotated yep. in this Exactly, spot. yeah. After we've labeled some data, to train a model, it was really easy. You just go to the train tab and there's a button. And you can see here, we actually trained a couple of models. Uh, by clicking train new model, it will give us some questions about like how long we want to train the model for, but it was effectively just that one click and we would get a new model. So here's an example of, um, of the predictions it makes and how it, how it ranks itself. So we've got this camera looking from the side view to track the ball going across. And you can see in this instance, the ball's a bit blurry and that's why we needed to train a custom model because a generic pre-trained model didn't, didn't recognize this as a football. So do you play soccer slash football? Uh, no, I hate football. I'm more, I'm into rugby. Now that I understood Zach's technique, I went to the tennis court to see if I could use it to improve my tennis serve. I used the video intelligence API to track my skeleton, which let me calculate the angles of my arms and legs. And I trained an AutoML vision model to track the trajectory of the tennis ball and calculate its speed as it zoomed into the net. The math revealed what I'd always sort of known about my tennis serve, it stinks. But check out my blog linked in the description to see how I'm using these stats to get better. That's all for now. See you next time.